we once were we were stuck in Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. Uh, we were left behind the rally because we'd broken a differential unit. And after fitting the differential unit, we loaded the car up with our kit and we drove that car non-stop for 66 hours. We drove it from Ulaanbaatar to uh, Bisk in Russia on our own, unsupported, across the Gobi Desert, uh, which is two and a half thousand kilometres all day and night. Um, and to drive across that terrain, of which there is very little roads and the tracks are not much to ride about, uh, was an absolute epic adventure. And only, only then, when you make it to Bisque, you've still got to drive all the way back to Paris. Um, but we rejoined the rally and we carried on. Um, that was uh, you know, an experience of a lifetime, which was only made possible by the car you know, ultimately being reliable and, and doing what was asked of it. My name is William Medcalf and I have a passion for vintage Bentleys. Probably fair to say it's my father's fault. Um, his idea of a, a family holiday was 28,000 miles around America in a vintage Bentley with uh, myself and my two sisters and my mother. Uh, we hit the road for nine months and did 28,000 miles. Uh, we covered every coastal road and across the middle and back. And uh, yeah, having that as an experience at five years old. Um, being able to stop in the in Florida and climb out the car and climb up a tree and pick oranges uh, to swim in the sea and uh, see those white sandy beaches and the people that you meet and the reception that we got everywhere we went um, as a as a five-year-old that was quite quite something and this lovely old car uh, took us on all that journey so the bond um, with that car as for us kids, uh, it, was, it, was, you know, it was part of the family that car. Um, and so yeah, so that's where the passion was, was grown. Um, and I always wanted to, to emulate that and I always wanted to travel and travel in, in a vintage Bentley. So um, yeah, we've got a, got a few trips planned for the future. I'm lucky now I can uh, take my two, two little boys and, and go and see the world. My father was a toolmaker by trade and he would stand me on a, on a wooden stool and I would learn to, to drill, to hacksaw, to file, all the hand skills and then in time uh, I used the lathe and the milling machine and he taught me the, the necessity for accuracy and the attention to detail which certainly he had um, and his idea was that whatever I did in life at least I would have some, some skills in my hands and I'd be able to make something. So I was always free to, to become anything I wanted to, um, but through his teaching and through uh, an induction into vintage Bentleys through his hobby, um, I decided that they were something really special and I wanted to work on them and I wanted to uh, understand not only the the car but the DNA behind the car and how every single piece was made and manufactured and what materials and so on and I like to dig deeper than, than anyone else is prepared to dig 
um, to, to get to the source data, to get to the truth behind something, um, and and to just to totally understand a product. Um, and so I haven't got there yet, but with vintage Bentleys, uh, you know, I'm, there, there's no links we won't get go to 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 really dig down and find out how it was done, why it was done. And some of the components that they manufactured in the time with the equipment that they had available to them, it was astounding. Um, you know, their draftsmen could draw stuff that the engineers really struggled to make um, on the shop floor. So, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite entertaining to, to try and unravel some of the mysteries and a real challenge. Anything with wheels should be raced. Um, anything with wheels should be driven to the limit. And so uh, some people ask, you know, what's the, what do you think of a car? Or what, is it, what do you think it should look like? And the honest answer is the best way to see a car is coming sideways through a chicane. All Bentleys have a crash gearbox. If you are driving the car on the limit, on a race circuit say, uh, if you enter the complex at Silverstone in top gear at probably 100 miles an hour and you brake heavily and you go for third gear, you, you have to make that gear change. You have to get it in the first time in order for you to have the drive and therefore the grip to get through that bend. If you, if you miss that gear, if you miss that one split second of timing and you've got a, got a handful of neutral, you are no longer driving that car, you are now a passenger in that car and that car will not go around that bend. You don't have the drive to give you the grip. So now you're heading across the gravel and now you're heading towards the tire wall. And so when you race a vintage Bentley or you drive a vintage Bentley, hard in competition if you if you do not drive it and get it right you will pay for it in a kind of catastrophic way so the satisfaction of being able to and, and nailing it and making those gear changes and driving the car on the limit on the curbs and yet bringing it back that's the sense of achievement and the reward for getting it right. I think a vintage Bentley is a connection between the here and now to the uh, rolling twenties of the Bentley boys. And so the connection is one of nostalgia and historic meaning. But it takes you on a journey where you can experience all those things in the past and still have our own fun today.